Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to continue uh, something we started a couple of weeks ago, and that is to explore uh, a little more into the uh, accessing Sung Kwa, because this is something that you can keep, keep looking at, keep taking deeper, deeper, deeper. It, it's so important. It's you know, why I consider part of the, the, three, uh, uh, the three pillars that you, your ability to unkink the hose and, and the quas is one of the biggest kinks in the hose for most of us. And that's because we, we tend to lock up just about every person I, I've ever met with the, with the rare exception of like someone who's really got the Sun Kwa idea embodied just about everybody is has a tendency to clench and push away from the earth. In fact, it's it's something that is considered to be uh, a, a desirable thing by by a lot of uh, physical uh, trainers and whatnot. The idea of getting really getting those tight buns and getting your 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 really working your glutes when you're standing stuff like that. So the there's a, a tendency to push away from the earth and most exercises develop that that quality like say if you're doing a squat you know and you're you're uh, you're pushing up and you're trying to create space between you and the earth and it's something that is has been firmly embedded in our programming since we learned how to stand up you know as as uh, toddlers we were there standing up and pushing away from the earth and locking up and that is firmly embedded in our in our way of moving and it's something that we're very familiar with, but it's not the Taiji way. Taiji way is the opposite. We're moving in the direction of sinking into the supporting structure, which then opens up the hip joints and allows the energy to move much more freely and also allows much more freedom of movement because you have that, that support that comes from uh, the yin, muscles in your legs and it's, it's, you're feeling that support and you can let go. When you let go, then you can relax your upper body and you can then move much more freely. So uh, those of who've been around me for any time at all know that I've been puzzling how to talk about this for decades and, and that will probably continue. And uh, just uh, this is the latest idea that I've come up with on this, which I find to be pretty effective, if only to give you a real sense of what that feels like. Because, you know, I've talked about it in a lot of different ways, but to actually get the feeling of it then allows you to familiarize yourself with the process and you start to learn to trust what that means to be soon. Because part of what makes us push away is that we don't feel safe, that we, we want to, we clench, we're, we're tightening up the butt muscles, just trying to, uh, to not fall over. And um, I'm not gonna get into the specific muscles involved, but there are certain muscles there which are, are related directly to our stress response. So that whenever we, Anytime we're feeling somewhat anxious about life, we put pump on the brakes on life, we're tightening up these muscles so as, as to, to feel safer. And what we are doing though is actually doing the opposite, at least in terms of Taiji, which is we are we're getting more vulnerable the more we tighten up there. So the uh, the idea behind this is if we can consciously take over the pre-conscious or unconscious patterns that are, uh, are thoroughly established in our body mind, that is that pushing away thing, that tensing up thing, if we can consciously take over that and then let it go, then we are much better able to control our body mind 
much better able to control the nervous system and all the associated uh, stress responses, unconscious stress responses that are associated with the tension. And uh, so the um, let's uh, take a look at that again. Um, why don't you stand up, please? We'll get right after it. Okay, so just stand with your feet, your foot apart, and just get the feeling of what your default setting is when you just are just standing there. And now push away from the ground. So it's as if you're gonna push your head toward the ceiling. So you're feeling a sense of separating out from the earth. And now uh, settle down, soften your knees and sink. So you feel yourself letting go. So what you wanna really feel is your butt is getting very soft. As Valerie says, your squishy baby butt, you want to feel that. You want to feel no butt tension at all. And your lower back also softens. So they're just a uh, uh, releasing. Push away and feel the, the difference between the two there. Because this is, it's making that distinction is the key part of raising awareness of, of Sun Hua. And ah, uh, sink. Push away and sink. Now this time I'm gonna ask you to push away, but very, very slightly, just enough so that you can feel the muscles engage. So you're pushing away and that engages those yang muscles. And if someone were watching you, they wouldn't even notice that you've risen. And then uh, release. So right now we've taken it to something which is external and we're making it more and more internal where the, our frame of reference is what are we doing inside the body? We push away almost imperceptibly and release so that you can feel that sense of sung. Feel your weight over the balls of your feet and push away slightly, ever so slightly and release. Just feel the effect that has immediately on the chi in your hands. Just by that very simple action of Sung Kwa, you immediately activate your energetic connections. And the whole body starts to get aligned and in a whole body energetic connection. And now I'm gonna go into the left leg and make it bigger this time. You're pushing away with your left leg. So notice that there's still some weight in your right leg, but for the most part, it's being taken over. Your left leg has become substantial. And now release uh, straight down and just like you're oof, just like you're dropping a sandbag. Thud. Push away. Inhale as you do that. And exhale as you sink. Feel yourself that yin, that yin settling, that yin support. Now push away a little bit less and sink. And push away a little bit less and sink. Now we're gonna to go to the right leg. The right leg, the left leg substantial right now. We're gonna make the right leg substantial. Feel the ball, set the knee and Begin to push away with the right leg. So you're lifting up 
and release. Ah, sink. So feel the load primarily in the right leg, maybe 60, 40, 70, 30. Push away with the right leg coming up and sink. There's a very quiet meditation you can do 100 times a day, 1,000 times a day. Push away very slightly this time and sink. So you're noticing the difference between the yang tightening, yang pushing, and the yin settling, the yin support. And almost imperceptibly push away, feel the yang, and now feel the yin. So now I'm going to step forward with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot. Push your right knee forward, set that. And you're going to push away with the right leg. Come up on the heel, on the toe of your back foot. So now you're pushing away on that right leg and ah, sink. Good. Now, we're going to do an exercise we've done many times before where we're spiraling down. So we're going to push away and then we're going to spiral down to the right. So you're loading up, you're sinking, you're releasing, settling into the support, the yin support of the right leg. And now you push away and spiral down to the left. And push away, you're coming up and spiral down to the right. So you're, we're getting familiar with that, what that really feels like to be really loaded up and trusting the sung. Push away a little bit less and spiral down to the left. And push away and spiral down to the right. Now, almost imperceptibly, you're coming up and sinking. Coming up and spiral down to the right. Now going to the back foot, the left foot. Pick up your front heel. You push away with your left foot. Your left leg coming up and then spiral down to the left. You're loading up, releasing down into the left quad. Push away and coming up. And spiral down to the right. And push away, coming up. Spiral down to the left. Release, feel, really feeling into that. Feel that, at, that yin support. Coming up a little bit less this time and spiral down to the right. Come up a little bit less and spiral down to the left. Uh, almost imperceptibly, spiral down to the right. Feel that yin. Feel the yang as you push away and spiral down. Good. Now put your left foot forward. So it's important to remember that this is just an exercise to familiarize you with the, with the sun kwa. There are people who do actually do their Taiji forms like that, where they're pushing away and they're settling down and there's an up and down motion with that. And that's not the direction uh, I want to take this. I would like you to get it so that the familiarity with the Sung is so, uh, it's so present for you that you do not need that, that young. It, you, you have a memory of it. But for right now, we're going to we're going to just do this as a way of, of getting that familiarity. So pick up your, your right heel, you're on your left leg now, you push away, and now you're going to spiral down to the left. So you're swung in that left leg. And now without coming up, turn. Keep the knee set, knees not moving at all, and then turn back. 
Notice how fluidly that hip joint works now. There's no lateral, there's no butt pushing, no lateral movement of the butt. We're just spiraling. We, we spiral down once, we just to load up to get sung in the quad, and then we can turn either direction quite fluidly. That's because when we get soon like that, we have freed up the muscular tension that causes us to restrain the proper movement of the hip joints. So we can now move very easily. Notice that your, your empty leg now, you don't even have to think about it. It's just, it just, it just along for the ride because you're bringing this, you're swung in the, in the left leg. So your right leg, it, it doesn't require any conscious um, letting go at this point. It just, it, it, it knows what it wants to do. Now let's go into the, let's go into the right leg, feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, pick up your left heel, push away, coming up and then spiral down to the right. We are loading up that right quad. So we're very soon in the right quad. The, the left leg is really empty. And now we get to turn back and forth with in the right leg. So the freedom of movement in the, in the right quad allows you to release any extraneous tension there. And that includes the tension in your left leg. Since it's not, since it's not hanging on due to that stress response, it just says, oh, okay, let me know when you need me. So it it's, becomes a, a, a very empty leg at this point. Yeah. And anytime you need to, okay, the, the sun is starting to erode, you push away and spiral down again and then turn. Okay, so now we're gonna, Put the left foot forward, and we're going to go and feel the ball of the right foot. Push your your uh, ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, and push away and spiral down to the right, and then turn back to center. So now we're in a bow stance, seventy forty. But we've made the transfer between the between the hip joints. So now we're going to go to the back leg. We feel the ball of the right foot. Push away and spiral down to the left this time. We're going down this way and then turn. So now we, we're back in, 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 we're swung in the back leg. And now we're gonna go back into the front leg, feel the ball and this time do it, do, do it by without pushing away. Feel the ball, set the knee and just, ah, just remember the spiraling down, the feeling of swung. Because you familiarize yourself with the young so now you can let go of it. You can let go of that unconscious yang response and you turn and you can turn either direction and the hips are freed. And then now you're gonna go back into the back leg. You're gonna feel the ball set the knee and spiral down without the yang and then turn. Okay, and then step forward with the right foot and just feel into both hips. And just you want to consciously feel the sung. If you have to, you push away a little bit and then ah, you settle in again. So it's this, it's that easy to reset into sung kwa. Just push away and ah, reset. And you keep going back to it. And the key to it is being able to do it over and over again, easily and quickly, and then under stress. Part of the reason why I was able to get a handle on this was because I did a lot of push hands competitions where this was the difference between winning and losing a match was you know, how much was, was I able to actually get soon under stress. And the being able to oh, release into that and, and feel the energy and feel the fluidity of motion. I knew if I were tensed up that I got, I was easily uprooted. 
this is a way of, of, of getting it so that, it, and for those of us who don't have the opportunity to play push hands right now, this is a way of checking yourself. Push away, ah. So you have that as a internal frame of reference. And then you don't need someone pushing on you in order to check your Zoom. You get to check it yourself. So I'm gonna, we're gonna sit down here and uh, let me see if anybody has any questions and then uh, we'll go on and do something else. You grab a seat. Was that helpful? Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Any questions or, yes, Scott. I think I know what your answer to this is gonna be, but um, because of my physicality, uh, one side, I, there's one turning left on my left side is, is still really tightens up. So I assume your answer is just gently keep at it, or is there a? Uh... Well, you've got you've got the uh, the formula here, right? And so uh, there, there's number one. It's it's are you aligned? You know the this is this presumes that you're aligning your structure in a way which is healthy, and if. Um, I know in your case it's it's a it's a knee thing that you uh, a chronic knee thing that extends back many decades that is is the issue there and I'd say that's probably true for a lot of us it be it knee or hip or whatever that there's something there which causes us to favor one side or the other so how do we get it so that we bring things more into balance well we slow it way down we align the structure so that we know that we're not doing damage when we when we do the the exercise and you you very consciously deliberately slowly get the feeling of it and and if it's only you know just a wee little bit of difference it doesn't matter it's the fact of sung as opposed to how much that we're talking about and then the more confidence you get, the more you're able to let go of the of those unconscious stress responses, and becomes second nature to you after a while. But it's an opportunity to explore something, which is, um, you know, it's been a black box for you for for some time. So now here's a chance to uh, to open up the black box and see what's inside. Oh, thank you. You bet. Uh, anybody else? Questions, thoughts? Jonathan, you're, you're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. I don't know. So it seems we're like a two vector system and we're mostly doing the opposite of what the vectors are supposed to be doing. In other words, we're supposed to be like reaching up here and sinking below, and instead we're dropping down here and lifting up from below. So, so. <laughs> I, when you, you when you say we're doing it, that that's the habitual human experience. That's, I, the, I'd say you're, that's you're, the habitual that, human experience. Yeah, yeah so it, you're it just right. strikes, So it just strikes me that even if you're like sitting or almost any position you're in, you can access that system of kind of being like a rocket. Like this is going up and and this is going down, right? Instead of even the slightest little. Mm, because you can even be in the fetal position, but still put that vector into play, right? So this is, isn't this yet another one of lost positions? There are none, and we can always reintroduce, you know, in, reintroduce into ourselves the two vectors and maintain that. Yes, absolutely. So like even like right now, as I sit here, as I inhale, I can feel myself pushing away and exhale. <sighs> you know and to be able to to do that but at the same time this is reaching up if right. the whole system collapses 
this is uh, apropos of your point. I'm just demonstrating what you just said. If 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 I think, oh, I just want to relax. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, uh, you know, and and everything collapses. Uh, and right. that's that. When we think relax, that's that's kind of kind of like that. That's what comes to mind, right? So it's right. not really. It's not. Sung is not relaxation. Sung is allowing for the yin support to manifest and to be the dominant system in the uh, in the body it's not just letting go it's about creating a form and then removing the impediments to occupying that form in the most economical and efficient way possible and if i if i may just share um because I get to hang out with him a lot. Uh, the other day, we were well, the other week, and we were walking along the street, and he made help me with an adjustment, as he does from time to time, and that real bringing in, and you know, like, and I said, okay, but this takes a lot of effort to hold it, and he said, yeah, but it takes a lot more effort for the rest of your body when you don't do that. I thought that was <laughs> a really good point, because it's, it's a so, really so conscious, true. it's a really conscious effort you have to make if you really are tucking in the chin and putting it up. It's not like, oh yeah, I got this. No, you know, you have to keep getting it for me anyway. And, no, no, and he's right. There's a there's an extreme payoff when how much the rest of the body relaxes when you get that right. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So what Richard. what uh, what your one thing one thing that I got here was uh relaxing into soon is not slumping. So don't slump. Don't slump. As, yeah, as I'm reminded by <laughs> my partner hundreds of times a day. Stop slumping. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Scott. I don't know if it's just because you've been teaching this, the correct posture and everything for so long, but I've been actually practicing what you know, Johnson is talking about, trying to keep my head up a lot more when I'm doing stuff. And I found what we were doing this exercise. When I let go, everything just kind of floated up. I didn't have to really lift it. It just kind of floated up with just the slightest bit of intention to, to not slump. It really, it was really cool. Beautiful. And not a lot of effort, which is, yeah. We, we, we established the, the, intentionally established the, uh, the form and then we get out of our own way. And that's the beautiful part is Whenever you do get the sweet spot, when you get everybody aligned correctly, it is that that feeling like it just floats up. It's the the chi that's coming up from the earth is it, it fills you up, and you get filled simultaneously with the the jing shen, the the spirit of vitality, and it the whole system just comes online and bing bing bing. You, um, uh, it's uh, kind of a, a fun thing, a fun thing to do. So uh, the investment, as John was saying, the investment of really intentionally doing it pays off in that all the extra maintenance that you have to throw into the rest of the body disappears. And you just have to, oh, it, it sort of starts taking care of itself a whole lot more. Cool. Okay, so let's, uh, Let's take that and uh, put that in a, uh, let's, let's do a cloud hands form. Very simple one, but uh, just to, to be able to, uh, kind of, I'll talk you through it. And just so we can, we're upping the ante in a little bit in terms of, of complexity here. And um, let's see how that feels. I'm gonna do it facing him. You can, you can go either direction with cloud hands. So, no, so let's step out here. Let's take a moment and and feel the three pillars because that's going to help us get the most out of this. So feel the balls of your feet. Unlock your knees. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin. Feel that lengthening of the spine. 
you're creating a form to push away from the earth and sink, uh, load up, the other song. We're unkinking the hose now. Release the lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Simultaneously reaching up. Feel the earth chi rising through your body, filling the whole system. Reach with your elbows, reach with your fingers. Yeah, so let's do a little cloud hands. We'll start with just in a stationary posture without any stepping. You're gonna feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee. And as we're just getting used to it, we're gonna push away a little bit with the left leg. So you really feel the substantiality of the left, left leg now and spiral down to the right. So we're loading up that left quad. Very soon and feel the, the, the substantiality of the left leg. So we're now about 70, 30 now, just by doing that. We've loaded up that. And now without pushing up, we're gonna turn, keeping the sung and reach with the fingers all the way over to the side. So notice that my body is vertical, not leaning, not pushing my butt out. I'm ah, reaching out with my right arm, reaching with my right elbow so that my shoulder joint is open. I've unkinked the hose there. I have a little weight in my right, right foot, but not a lot, because that's the insubstantial leg right now. But that's going to change right now. I'm going to feel the ball of the right foot. And this is a signal to my right leg that it's going to be the substantial one. And I set the right knee. And I'm going to push away with the right leg and spiral down to the left. So I'm gonna load up Sung in that right claw. You're just feeling this, this, the support of that. Still reaching with the crown of your head. Be opening the jade pillow gate and turn. Nice and easy. The left hand crosses just at the Dantian as you're, as you're turning. And reach with both hands. You notice that the body is vertical. We're able to execute that movement with very, very little um, motion in the hip joint, no lateral motion. Now we're going to feel the ball of the left foot. We're going to go the other direction now, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee. So now the left leg is becoming substantial. And I'm going to push away with the left leg now and spiral down to the right. So I'm loading up the left leg as I spiral down to the right and my right hand starts to come down. And as I turn, my left hand comes across. Both hands cross the center line about the same time. And reach out. Relax your shoulders, reach with your elbows, open the joints. Feel that energetic connection through, from the earth, through your body, out through your fingertips, out to the crown of your head. The whole body mind is connected up in a continuous energetic connection. Mm. 
Feel the ball of the left foot, push away and spiral down to the left. Step in with your right foot. Empty step. Now feel the ball of the right foot and push away a little bit and spiral down to the left. Again, this is just a way of training the quad. We're gonna get rid of that push away part when we start to feel comfortable. We wanna feel that sung. We're in sung in the right quad now. So with very quickly and very easily, effortlessly, we've shifted the substantiality of the legs. So now the right quad has, is, is more substantial. The right leg is more substantial. And now without pushing away, I'm gonna turn. Body turns, left hand comes down below the navel, down to the dantian, right hand about mouth high, reaching with the elbows, feeling that shoulders are relaxed. Continue turning, feel the sung, reaching with both hands. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up. This is gonna give us the opportunity to pick up that left foot and step out with the left foot. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, push away with the left leg. You're coming up on the left leg and spiraling down to the right. You're loading up that left quad. And so now the left leg is substantial and turn. Feel the left ball, set the left knee, push away and spiral down to the left. Step in with the right foot. And let's come down. And just feel the energy in your, in your hands and throughout your whole body right now. Feel that sense of of, com of fullness that comes with the whole body energetic connection. Feel the, the blood flowing in all those little capillaries, kind of expanding, getting that microcirculation going. This is feeding the whole system, you know, nurturing every cell in your body, bringing fresh chi to every cell. Feel the ball of the right foot, push away and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the right leg, step in with the left foot. Take a deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve the chi. And allow your everything to, to, to dissolve into that emptiness. Not clinging to any forms, no thoughts, no energy. Just allow yourself to feel into the shed. Please take a seat. <clears throat>
Cool. Um, any thoughts, questions? How'd it go? Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Scott. Uh, I definitely found it once I got the hands involved and everything, it was uh, more, I need more practice. <laughs> more practice letting go because uh, my, my shoulders started tightening up no matter there was something something not right there great yeah, <laughs> that's great. wonderful <laughs> uh, the, yeah, that, that awareness is is, is really crucial because uh, most people are completely unaware of how much that they're doing that so it's yeah. something that we're uh, you know by slowing it way down and and really being very deliberate about this, we get a chance to to open up that black box again and just kind of say, oh, geez, I've, I've, I've been doing this for a long time. Time time to time to fix that thing. Cool, anybody else? Lynn. So I'm just, a little unclear. So when you're doing the push away and the release, I get that totally right. Um, but that's not something you want us to like infiltrate into our form all the time. It's like just a way to like pay attention to it at this moment, right? Yeah. Uh, thank thank you for for mentioning that because it's something that I'm emphasizing, but it can't be repeated too often. Uh, the uh, this is an exercise to develop sung kwa awareness okay yeah and and yeah and and you know I, it's really important that that you you mention that and uh and i will mention it again and again just because some people just kind of jump in the middle of this and, and and think that that's the way we're doing it it's like no this is just a way of getting that awareness because it will um you know after trying to teach this stuff for decades i'm i'm Aware that different people are at different, at different places in their in their taiji development in their kung fu, and even high level players don't know about. I, I don't know how many people who uh, who studied in China who never heard of a kwa. You know, it just it just it's it's a it's something that you know, it's not uh, as common as we we like to think. You know. And outside of this little group here, you know, if you were just to go and, and you know go across the street to to Joe's Taiji, uh, you know, it you might find that you know they don't talk about it at all, you know, and it's just something that and, and traditionally it's not something that you, you even mention, you know, maybe for decades, and you know you just you just follow your teacher and and that's you know we're, we're not talking qua here, you know. <laughs> Well, I find it it's really helpful to to do it because it helps bring that awareness. And I found when we were doing it the first time and you were having us push up, you know, after a while, my body was like, no, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to do that anymore. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, <laughs> yeah. If you know, but then you have someone push on you and then you find out how, how limited so your understanding actually is. So as soon as you know, you know someone's, you get you, you say, okay, I'm going into, I got that, and then someone, and you find that you're not rooted at all. It's like, oh, I have to reevaluate my my interoception. I have to evaluate my own understanding of of what that feels like because I have an idea, but that idea may not be uh, uh, something which is empirically uh, verifiable. Or you push back, you know, sort of, you're all relaxed and then someone pushes on you and you push back, which. Yeah, you react. Instead. Yeah, then that's. Right, right. So yeah. that, that, that's, that's right. That, that's a, 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 a way of getting away, a workaround. Rather than getting sung, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just attack back, you know. No, I mean, I push back with my leg, you know, and then I uproot myself, right? Yeah, so that's, I mean, it's, it's a workaround that we, we develop to, to get out of, out of having to do that, rather than just taking that energy in and saying, that all you got? And, uh, <laughs> which is kind of where we want to go. We want to be able to, it's like, you know, be able to, to handle, it's like you're pushing with children. It's like, you know, okay, 
that's it. <laughs> and then, then you know you got something, right? It's like, uh, okay, now you're on the right track because you're, you're so comfortable doing it that it just, you're just a lot, you're able to allow your body. And then, then you can do all kinds of cool stuff because this permits us to execute a lot of like the leg maneuvers, the one legged stances and things like that, the kicks and things like that, that are difficult, if not impossible to do correctly, if you are not Sun Kwa, you know, and, and some people can, can look pretty doing it, but they have nothing. There's no root there. They're just, there's balance, but no root. You know, they're dancers, which is fine, but it's not, uh, it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for that energetic connection, which is constantly is renewing our Elan Vital, that's constantly giving us that, that, that hit, you know, of juice that, uh, you know, a hundred times a day, a thousand times a day, anytime you want, you go, you can get in there, <laughs> you know, get a, get a big, big dose. And uh, I, that's, that's the game for me. So the, the push hands part is just a way of verifying, you know, are you indeed, you know, in that direction? Are you moving in the right direction? Yeah, Richard. Uh, I'm just curious, but, uh, you know, I have no contact with the Bush Hands community at all. I was just wondering if there's been a growing awareness and appreciation for these Sun Kwa principles in that community. Uh, I, I, I am also, since, since the COVID, I, uh, have, uh, I haven't been doing a lot of Bush Hands lately, so... Uh, um, right. I, I really, uh, I, I've also lost track of what, what, where, where, what the status of things is and, and where, you know, what language people are, are, are using for it. But it'd uh, be good to investigate that. Jonathan has a, Jonathan, you're on, you're on mute, Jonathan. You're on mute. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of push hands going on in the Berkshires this weekend. We're reviving the Taoist uh, International Conference at Eastover, so... Denise Meyer will be there with her new book on swimming in the chi. Is it out? Some of you. Will. Is it available? I, I just proofread the, the last uh, version of it. It's not available yet. Uh, you are, Rick is especially well represented, as is Don Miller. A lot of Don Miller and Rick. Steve Watson is heavily presented as well. But and can all we, of them. Is that, is that on Eastover's website? Or where where do we get the, information uh, about this? Can we pre-order on not... Amazon? Um, good the question. Book. It's called Floating in Chi, swimming. Oh, what is the floating free floating press or something? Some strange European press. Uh, very nice. You know, there's some Ken Van Sickle pictures in there of Maggie and, and nice. Uh, but a lot of Rick. Michaela's in there. Maria's in there. Uh, so it's kind of cool, and, and other Sedona yeah. people. You, you will find out this weekend how we can uh, how we can get this aforementioned book, and to, uh, congratulate Denise for me. And, I will uh, be. And I'll uh, be. Uh, I'm eager to uh, eager to get my eager eager to get my copy. And we're we're also interested in the conference that you mentioned, Jonathan. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's starting on Thursday. Uh, just go on the Eastover site, eastover.com. Okay. You can read all about it and stuff. I'll be doing a little Rick, <laughs> Rick Barrett Tai Chi. <laughs> Do you know if they'll be doing any any remote connections? Uh, boy, that's a great question. You'd think I would know that. <laughs> I, <laughs> hmm. We did. I, not, uh, that I'm, not that I'm aware of, but I have to check into that. She tends to do some of the stuff like for China or something. I have to see if she's hooked up nationally or something. Also, by the way, uh, this guy, Scott Park Phillips, is coming right after that, who's a very interesting guy. He says oh, all these martial art forms, so many of them derive from Chinese opera. And he has a very playful way of doing forms and things. So, Wow. I hear he's lots of fun anyway. Cool. Uh, cool. Anybody else? Uh... Uh, sign up for we sign up, Stan. Oh boy. I'm, okay, there. I guess I'm back. 
Okay, uh, Rick, uh, uh, as a final, welcome back to you and Maria. Uh, you were you. gone and missed. We, but, we, we, uh, we have the COVID, so we're, uh, we're, yes, we're out last week. Yes. Uh, and uh, on the mend, though. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank me, you for, uh, for the, the good wishes. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, for me. For me, I'm going to be traveling to California to see my son and uh, daughter-in-law. So I'll be gone into next week. So, okay. Yeah, so I'll miss you guys. See you when you get back. Have fun. Bon voyage. Oh, yeah. Safe travels. Thank cool. you. Okay. Uh, thank you all so much. It's been great. Appreciate it. Thank yes, you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, thank you, Maria. Love yeah. and help. Thank you, Maria. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.